Hello there, escapers. My name is Xenobilius, and first of all, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Probably a belated Merry Christmas, but uh, one nevertheless. And today I have a special treat for you. It's episode four, and it's going to be the biggest episode so far in terms of the number of kills I've done, number of boss kills I've done, but also in terms of the number of times I've died. So a little bit of a taster is the footage you see in the background right now. Obviously, I couldn't have done it without being dead and using the Orb of Oculus from outside of Yakamaru. So I'm not going to go into too much in the intro because there's a lot of footage to be covered and a lot of progress to be made for you guys to have a look at. But what I will do is just to remind you that these are the numbers that I had from previous episodes for the boss kill count total and the pets I've gotten. And also in the previous episode, these were the stats for the boss kills I did, the number of times I died and so on. That was pretty terrible. So I've definitely improved on the number of kills I've done can't say I've improved on the deaths. Definitely improved on the GP gained as well for one big reason which you will see if you haven't already from previous videos. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh my god, Catfight Task! Just as my friend asked me to go Geo Catfight King with him. Yes! Time to get the pet. <laughs> First, KK kill in years and I get shocks. Congrats on pet. Oh! Effigy. I got enemy. I'm keeping that. Nice. Yes, boys. Oh, <laughs> nine <in>. mil. <laughs> yes. Oh, grats in. Nice. Almost oh, grat. Thank you. Yes. Oh, <laughs> grats. I hate you. Oh, that was good. <laughs> good job. This is the first day of the 12 days of PVM. This one being hosted by Iceberg and Frostberg guys. Very grateful for them. Big shout out to them for doing something like this for the community along with the everyone else who's going to be doing it. But this is the first one. Hoping to get some KC here. So not really hoping for drops or anything. Just getting some KC for, I guess, uh, not really sure. Uh, to get a threshold. That's the one. To get threshold for eventually when I'm going to go for the pets. So that... I have a higher drop rate when I solo it. All right, looks like it dies in seconds. So, um, okay, what the hell? All right, what I want to see is whether the kills count. Hmm, did that even count? Did I even do any damage? All right, let me check. The next one, I should get. I should be at 247. Come on, do a hit. Zen, don't miss. <laughs> Zen, don't miss. <laughs> yes, it counts, guys. It counts as a kill. Woot! <laughs> Okay, that was more like 15 seconds rather than 5 seconds. Wait, let's see how long it was. I can't tell. Yeah, it was like 20 seconds. Not too bad. Also, I have a chance of getting some loot here. So, I think I preferred this one. Oh, someone's already got the pet. No! <laughs> My luck of the dwarves gave it to him. I think I was the highest DPS -er there. God dang it. Guys, I finally got a drop. Yes! Wait, did someone steal it? Oh, no, I picked... My family picked it up. Azazel, I love you. Finally made some money here, apart from the 12 Araxite arrows I've collected as well. Second drop! What is this madness? What is this madness? How many kills have I got? Let's have a look. Hey, about 20. Not bad. 30, in fact. Modelies here, guys. Time to get these event cards. Apparently, they will give you prismatic stars and things like that. So, of course, I'm going to take it. Ooh, nice. I might just save up. Very nice, very nice. I'll save up 12. Thank you very much, Modley. That was pretty fun, to be fair. There were three masses. Um, one of them was like 10 people, so I was gar guaranteed a kill. But the other two, it was very hard to get a kill because only the top 10 DPSs could get a kill. And unless you managed to get the first hit in, <laughs> you would not be the top 10 DPSs. Oh, well, do you know, I just did my bounty and I got a Ceranic Essence. That's definitely one for the collection, guys. If nothing else, I don't know how much it is. How much are Hellwear armor pieces worth? 164k, not complaining. Time to get a new bounty. Oh my god, Crest of Zaros, guys! Yes, my second ever! With my friend by my side. Grats on 10 mil, bro. 10 mil for free. I invited him to come to Zaros with me. The time has come, boys. 249 soul devourers. So my second ever Magister only soul devourers task I'm going to do. So I'm hoping for three things. One, to finish my weapon. Two, to get the gloves of passage. And three, to hopefully get the pet. The drop rate is one in 1k. Um, I passed the first threshold. So it's one in 500 for me right now. So there's what? There's like a 40% chance of me getting it within these next 250 kills. Pretty decent kill. Oh, almost eight minutes. 
fairly slow I suppose but um, my first AOD kill in a very long time hopefully it's the start of something good I'm doing this for my reaper task but obviously I want to keep doing it until I get good at it and also until I get the pet mm, that was kind of close cutting it close with the um, bomb special whatever you used to call it that was really a great AOD trip thanks to Wong for taking me and uh, thanks to my friends for inviting me and not thinking I was a noob so um, I only died once could have been avoided to be honest so yeah oh my f god no way no bloody way what the hell oh my god <laughs> I didn't get any other drop except that one well, I missed two codexes, one because I died, the second one I was in the kill but I missed it, but this one, holy cow, right, uh, I am in shock, that is by far the most expensive item I have ever gotten from PVM in a single drop, ever, by a huge amount, by a massive margin, I think my second best is like a fang, which is 100 mil. I'm still shaking. For those of you that have done AOD, this might not seem like a big thing, but let me just reiterate for the hundredth time. That is by far the highest value drop I've ever got. And I didn't even join this, um, well, I guess I joined this mass to try and sniper drop, but I knew that was like extremely rare. Uh, what I was really joining this mass for was to get my KC up so that I could pass a threshold before I did seven mans, but what the hell? That is crazy. Can we get back to back? I didn't even put on my luck of the dwarves that time when I got it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Not too bad. Looks like the luck of the dwarves is like a placebo. It's got the opposite effect of what it's meant to have. That's what it feels like anyway. Most of the times people have got rare drops, including myself. It seems to have been when they've forgotten to put on their luck of the dwarves. Maybe that's just, that's just the way things are. I got my Beastmaster pet the one time I did a non-loot Beastmaster raid run. Yeah, I mean, that's got nothing to do with... Uh, <clears throat> the pet chance doesn't have anything to do with whether it's a loot run or not, but just saying, it just seems a bit seems, seems a bit too coincidental. Maybe Jagix have put in some sort of mechanic to make it more likely without telling us about it. Shout out to these legends. This guy's hosting this instance. And uh, this guy was, I believe, one of the most senior guys. And um, we're all stranded here because <laughs> someone started without the main, without the main guys. So um, yeah, hope, let's hope they don't get anything very valuable. Actually, you know what? My LSP is probably really low, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't get another drop anyway, or extremely unlikely that I will. So it doesn't make any difference to me whether I'm in there or out. But this is a great view. I love this arena. This has to be one of the best updates of 2017. Not just because I got that codex, but in general. I mean, look at this place. It's just absolutely stunning. Ah, my mate gets an intricate smoke chest. I believe that's one of the rarest things he can get from AOD. What is going on today? Crazy. <laughs> what is this dance? You gotta love it. You gotta absolutely love this dance. I hope they never fix this bug, ever. <laughs> now there's QBD and the snowman joining in. <laughs> what is QBD doing? That looks so wrong. That looks absolutely wrong. Oh, I need to clear out my head. Effigy boys! Thought I got an actual item. Lol. Yes, boys! Armored old crossbow! Need to pick it up quickly as well. Let's pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. That's one for the collection. Only uh, four more items. A GS shard. Slightly more valuable than the Saradomian sword, I believe. So I'll take that for sure. That will complete my set very nicely indeed. Just, uh, I believe, three more items until I finish the collection. Uh, a Whisper, a Hilt, and the pet, of course. Wait, what? <laughs> what is it with Zilliana and me getting combat pets from Zilliana? That's my second one, guys. I got Sifu. Awesome. And my attack XP is only 75 mil. So um, not that likely that I was going to get it, but I got it. Second combat pet out of eight. Uh, both at Zilliana. Maybe I'll just keep capping Zilliana until, get, until I get all eight using different styles after I get the strength pet, maybe? So that I can get the magic and ranged pet and possibly the prayer pet from burying these bones. <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> Peace again. What's going on? Lol. All right. <laughs> Zilliana feels um, feels generous today. That's for sure. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Two hisses back to back. What? Why? <laughs> Why? I don't have enough immense space. Jagex, just give me the pets so I can leave this place. No, I don't want Ranar Seeds. I'll drop those. I don't think this is worth much anyway, is it? <laughs> 44k. Really? Ah, oh, the party spoiled because my arena timer ran out. Oh well, it's been a very productive... Um, actually, I wouldn't say productive. It's been a very non-dry. What's the word for not dry? Very rich. Uh, Zoyana trip, usually I get extremely dry. But I got four drops and a pet in two hours. Not going to complain. And I enjoyed using my malevolence prayer for the first time ever as well so that was nice rip that's my fourth set at shattered worlds i should not have chosen the exploding mutator that was not the best idea but whatever whatever not the not the worst thing to die at shattered worlds not like it counts as a proper death so um plenty of anima to get Ooh, nice Apparently I've completed a Shattered Worlds challenge. Didn't even know what it was, but 7.5 mil extra anima. No complaints there. Definitely taking that. Don't know how much I'm on, to be honest. I think once I open the chest, I will figure out how much I'm on. I think I'm going to have to get to 90. Well, 90 or so before I open the chest. I think uh, the best runs are between world 70 and 90. So hopefully I don't die before 90. That's probably my first 70 to 90 run without actually dying in the middle. So I'm hopefully going to be able to get quite a bit of uh, nice gains from this. Wow. Okay. What? Nice. Okay. It looks like I did indeed get quite a bit of uh, nice gains. 63 more anima. So halfway there. Actually, wait. It's one ability, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's one ability. It's not two abilities. I think I've been confusing myself. So I might actually be done here. Uh, I should have checked out the statistics page, but never mind. So I think I might be done. Salt the wound. Yes, it's one ability and it should update. Yep, it should update my dazing shot, although I'm not really going to use it because I'm not. Oh, I can't really afford a Seren God boat. Nice. I'm done with this place forever. Another AOD Reaper complete, guys. Didn't die at all that time, which is pretty good. Well, I signed once, but I didn't die. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. 45k XP, 27 Reaper points because I cancelled once. If I could get an AOD Reaper every day, I would be very happy because it would just be a casual 10 or 12 kills every single day. Uh, working towards that first threshold after which I plan to sort of camp a bit more in 7 man until I get to that first threshold. Because my goal obviously is to get the pet not to get the... Well, it is to get the collection as well, but... It's more to get the pet than to get the collection, to be honest. Ah, I got a whisper. Nice. And a second whisper. What's going on? I got back to back again. Whisper. <laughs> what is going on? What is this? <laughs> back to back hisses and now back to back whispers. And I still haven't got the third one. I've got way too many of the other two. Whatever. At least this is worth more than the hiss, right? No, it isn't. It's worth less. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. Look at the doors. Come on, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Root. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just KQing with this dude. I left and he gets a Kalpha egg. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Why did I leave? For God's sake. Yes, guys, that's a unique, that's a unique item. Yes, a private was off day. No, no worries, no worries. So just two more items to go. The Saradome in Hilt and the Zoyana pet. Which one will I get first? Woot, another one. And another offhand armadillo crossbow. This time with my private off, but um, I don't mind. How much is it? Three mil, not bad. Keep them coming, boys. 30k in my pocket. Another Gia Shard. That was worth like five hisses. Hello. Drop the hiss. Pick up the Gia Shard, boys. Are you serious? <laughs> you got Wallace in a raid. That is hilarious. Hello, TD. Oh, no. 
No! <laughs> no! Okay, another AOD Reaper. 45k Slayer XP, here I come. Oh, that's double to 90k, nice. Only 30, oh, 37 Reaper points. So I didn't cancel any to get that. Well, I didn't cancel more than one. So um, I really enjoyed enjoy doing this. Uh, I'm not getting any loot. I haven't got a single loot since I got the Codex. But on the other hand, I'm getting that KC up to the first threshold. I believe that is 1,000. So getting there very slowly, but surely up to 1,000, after which I plan to do a lot more seven mans. I've only done a few so far, mostly just masses. Back to back AOD test. What? No, I'm gonna die, guys. Hello. Um, yeah, back to back AOD task. 180k Slayer XP in about two hours. Um, or one and a half hours, should I say. So, not too bad. Not too bad. But I don't know why the first task was 12 and this one's 6. There shouldn't be that big a difference, surely. Had my uh, extended assignment ticked for both of them. So, um, yeah, whatever. Okay, not the greatest first kill after getting the tier 99 range prayer and coming here to Magister with the Reckless Aura as well. But that's probably because I'm a bit rusty. I'm looking forward to doing my entire Soul Devourer task here. 248 to go. I'll take like somewhere between 5 to 7 hours. Um, it's going to be fun. Hopefully I get the pet. And hopefully I don't die at all. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Phylactery, boys. I think it's number 15 or something. Although I'm not sure. What? Oh, I thought I got the pet or something. That looked fairly big for a for a phylactery drop, but it was two drops in one, and uh, my aura ran out. So uh, I felt the effect of that immediately. Uh, that was mid kill. My accuracy dropped dramatically. But uh, anyway, let's go get a new aura. Continue on this task. Really enjoying the prayers right now. Probably going to switch to manacle. Seven minute, seven minute zero percent enrage kill, guys. Eight minutes actually. Eight minutes. What a pro I am. Coming back to Talos after a while, that's just my 15th kill ever. And decide to give it a go since unlocking these prayers. And uh, also to claim that orb, maybe? It was actually pretty easy at Zero Enrage. Who? I mean, this is an easy boss. What are you talking about, guys? The continue challenge. I'm going to get that streak up to 100. Let's go. Yeah, Vital spot guys and that's 10 kills done. I got a key to the crossing so I'm going to do my 11th. Just want to say I absolutely love maging it now. With this staff I've got really close to 100% accuracy. With this combination, this setup and the gothic staff spec and even with only runic accuracy without using manacle I can still do some serious deeps which is awesome. Uh, I gotta get this kill with just two doses of brew. Lol. These guys are worth two mil now for some reason, which is awesome. Oh wait, no, I just got 20 instead of 10. That makes sense. Effigy, are you serious? Oh man, what a troll. And I just signed again. I got dropped from like 7k to zero in like a tick. No idea how, I think it's a standstill attack. Fine, Lactory, very happy. Very happy days. I think I might just go for two weapons instead of one. Because what's the point of making one weapon when you can make two? Another phylactery. Alright, I think uh, I really should just go and open these. Because I'm pretty sure I can make at least one, if not both, the Kopeshas. Just about to do some uh, more Zilliana. And what in the hell just happened? Two people got the blood tentacle drop on the same tick. Basically on the same kill. I don't think that was even possible. What? What's going on? Revolution is the new meta, guy. For um, records. <laughs> Revolution records for the win. Lol. Another repeat. When are we going to get Sarah Hilt and the, uh, and the pet? Lol. I'm rich. Very, very rich indeed. No, that's pro that's it. I think that is the lowest value item. Again, I wonder how many of these repeats I'm going to get before I get the pet and the hilt. Another repeat. Of course, I'm going to get repeats most of the time from now on since I only need two more items. But uh, I'd rather if it was something reasonably valuable, like the Armador crossbow, rather than these necklaces, which are so worthless. Another one. Another Ceradomin sword. It's got a hilt attached. Can I remove the hilt and use it? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Another one. Another one. Another one pretty sure they reset the timers because no way one minute 10 seconds is anywhere near a record at vindicta what 
the hell? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they reset the timers. That's my Reaper done, and it's been a pretty good time at Vindicta in this particular episode. I've got a Crest of Zaros, 20 mil, um, brought my friend with it for that, so he got 10 mil. Zerosian Essence, guys, I am very rich indeed. Where's the Dragon Rider Lance? The elusive Dragon Rider Lance, and also the pets, that would be nice. I'm not the Juan. That's a Reaper task complete, boys. 27k Slayer XP, 15 Reaper points. I got it on my third try, so um, yeah, not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Nice one. Two build total XP, guys. About damn time, huh? About damn time. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm reasonably close to 5.4 build, guys. Only 3.4 build XP to go. Lol. He skilled 36 Yakamaru. Oh, that was such a troll, man. I got so excited. 36. Another one. Number 22 or 23. First kill and I get a Sarah Sword. Don't know why this particular item doesn't show in your friend's chat, but stuff like the Dormant Animal Core Helm or the Sarah Dormant's Hiss, which is worth way less, shows up. Doesn't make any sense, but uh, most things don't, do they? Holy hell! Yes! Sarah Dormant Hilt. That's only my second ever, guys. Feels, almost feels like I got the pet. <laughs> whisper guys, whisper. 36k, better, more well off. What the hell? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it's been sent to my bank. What in the hell? All three of my combat pets have been gotten at Zilliana. Third combat pet, guys. Well, fourth really, if you count the Slayer pet. Halfway there, or five more to go for Jack of All Blades. Not too bad at all. Exactly one minute, three seconds apart for those two guys. Well, I can still potentially get the strength pet from here. So um, if I get that, that will complete the melee set plus the constitution pet. Um, all from Zilliana. What? That would just be amazing if I got that. Let me turn off uh, defense XP now, I suppose. So, so these are the only pets I need from actual combat. And I need the summoning and prayer pet additionally. End of the... Um, instance and I get Sarah sword to finish it off so uh, it's been a pretty good instance guys um, I only got a Sarah sword in the last instance got a Sarah sword sword a whisper gear shard and a hilt and the pet in this one final actory first majesty kill of the trip hey not can't complain at all in fact that's going to be the end of the trip because I forgot my gothic staff so uh, Got to back for that. Really? I forgot to pick up the other drop. How clever of me. Thank goodness it wasn't the pet that I forgot to pick up. Another phylactery. This time I picked both the drops up. Another phylactery. Okay, I'm pretty sure I probably have a 90% chance of making an entire weapon now, given how many phylacteries I've gotten. But um, probably just to wait to get a bit more. A few more maybe. Maybe finish this task and then open them up. Okay, I just checked my bank and it looks like I got... I had 26 phylactery in there. 30, I believe, is the average number required to make a weapon. So, um, yeah, this is my 27th. I just got my 27th. Cool. Another Juan key as well. Nice. Yes. There you go. Got 30 phylactery now. You reckon I should open it? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, that was my first ever. Yes. So happy. Thanks for calling it, kind of. Yes, just a pet to go. All right, last one hour of uh, this 50 plus 50% dungeon weekend. And uh, I did floor 60, 10 minutes, not too bad. 19k tokens. That translates to 30k uh, if you consider the fact that it's plus 50%. So um, 30k tokens in one floor. I'll get my re remaining requirements done in about 11 floors if I go by that. Rip, only 13k tokens now because the weekend is over. It's 12 p.m. on Monday, Christmas Day. And yeah, rip bonus tokens. It's going to take a long time to get the remaining 159k that I need. Finally got a dunge token chest. It's so hard to get a dunge token chest when you're near the top. Uh, I think I should purposefully come, not come near the top. Only 15k. Damn, that's terrible. I may as well just keep doing dunge. I have a few wild cards in my bank, which I didn't realize. Lol. Should have been using them earlier. That will give me plus 50% tokens on top of the token weekend, I think. Or if not, right now the token weekend's ended. So let's use them up. Here we go. Plus 50%. Okay, so hopefully just two or three more floors. Please just be that many. I want to be done with Dunch. Please also give me Gordy in that time. 
Yes, that's the last dungeon I'm going to do until I do my Gordy hunt. I don't think I will. I didn't get your Gordy. That was... I ended up MVP as well, which is probably the first time ever. Um, usually my name is Leech or something like that. But uh, that is it, guys. 1.5k, 1.5 mil dungeon tokens, the most expensive single item in the history of Dungeoneering Rewards. And I'm about to get it. Kind of wish I didn't spend all those dungeon tokens recharging my old accumulator instead of saving up for this one. But I didn't know at the time. But uh, here we go. This is, uh, this is it. Nice. Add it to your tool belt. Ah. Let's go unlock that. Here we are then. This is a great way to finish the episode, I suppose, because it's the end of the weekend. It's Christmas and I'm unlocking something I've been wanting to unlock for a long time. It's going to save me so much time. Where is it? Learn how to attach it. Sure. Cool. So, yeah, that is it. I can't wait to use this, actually, because it will save me so much time, especially at God Wars 1, while I'm killing Zulyana and loads of other bosses and Slayer creatures like that. Um, and I won't have to recharge my accumulator either. So that brings us to the end of another episode. Now, I've been a little cheeky and I haven't stuck to the exact two week schedule. I've added another two days because I wanted to try and PVM like hell on Sunday and Monday, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to try and get a boss pet just so that you guys have something to see for this episode. But unfortunately, it didn't happen even though I had so many kills. So these are the stats for the episode. So between Sunday the 10th of December and Monday the 25th of December, so 16 days, I got 10k kills across everything. Specifically, the main ones are almost 900 Zoyana kills, which is pretty good. 205 Magister kills, and I got the Gloves of Passage as well during those. 36 next kills... 33 are actually kills. Uh, shouldn't have been that many, guys. 24, Calfat King. And what else? Telos. One Telos kill, guys. One Telos kill. No pet, unfortunately. Bit annoyed about that. Spent so much time trying to get that one Telos kill, and I didn't get the pet, Kappa. And uh, I did quite a few God Wars 2. Uh, one for the 12 Days of PVM event that players hosted, but also for daily bounties and reaper tasks and things so it's not too bad spending a an hour or so every other day or every three days at these bosses should be all right i mean um, i'll probably eventually get the pet as well so why not why not now these figures are not particularly accurate like i mentioned in the previous episodes when you compare them to what i actually have in game exactly very accurate but I would like to take them because, you know, there's something to show you guys. And as for the GP, well, 854 mil made. <laughs> Most of that coming through the Praetor Codex that I made. But overall, I lost about one bill trying to get those three prayers. So that's one thing ticked off my wish list, my side wish list for the end of the series. I want to get all the tier 92 weapons, but I also want to get all the prayers. And I've got all the prayers already, which is pretty good. And yeah, the coins, I've got the... Advanced Gold Accumulator now. So all these coin drops you see should be all the coin drops I get minus 10% of course. Eventually in the next episode. But I didn't probably didn't pick up like at least a third of these drops. And uh, pretty good as for the other drops are concerned. So really good episode if you just want to see how much I made. But if you want to see how much I lost I probably lost more than I made. So um, a bank value hasn't really <laughs> increased that much or decreased that much. Probably decreased a little bit more. And if you want to see my XP gain, well, I gained quite a bit of defense XP that probably contributed to me getting the Wallace pet. Quite a bit of attack, not that much actually, um, but I still got the attack pet. I'm only at 75 mil XP there. Defense, I'm at like 120 mil XP. Still haven't got the magic pet, still haven't got the ranged pet, still haven't got the strength pet or the dungeoneering pet. Quite a bit of virtual dungeoneering XP gained past 200 mil. And overall, my XP gain was 42 mil as well as gaining 2 build total XP in this episode. I'm not a skiller by any means, so um, pretty happy with that, without actually going for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So the big question you've probably all been wondering, did Zen really not die even once in this episode? Well, the answer to that question is that I died a lot. I probably died way more, and these are the stats for this episode. And uh, the reason I didn't show you each death is that that would have taken up too much time. You guys gave me some feedback in the previous episode saying you didn't really want to see all my deaths, you wanted to see more bossing, more of the stuff that matters really. And I completely agree with you. In fact, it was pretty boring for me to edit death after death, me saying the same thing. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably, it depends. If it's a really funny death, I'll probably keep it, but otherwise I'll probably just skip it and show you the figures at the end. 
of every episode. Saving myself a bit of cringe there as well. So uh, two-way process, win-win for everyone. But if you have any views on that, do let me know. But my plan is to show you only the ridiculous deaths. And usually I don't really record deaths until after I die. So you can't really see how I died. So it doesn't make any sense for me to record that. All right, time for the end of episode four. So let's. the first thing we need to do is have a look at our boss collections. And the first one that I will be having a look at is AOD. Um, unexpectedly somewhat, I did get the Praesor Codex, which is probably the most common out of all of them that I still need to get. The rarest is probably the chest, one of the chests for the title, not all four. And I've still got the wand and the orb to get. Like I said, I'll probably be getting the first threshold before I start doing seven mans in earnest, just so I give myself the better chance of the pet. Because from the point of view of getting the pet and not really making money as such, if the priority is getting the pets. So from that point of view, uh, I think doing masses for now is a good idea. Uh, what else do I need? Well, Magister. So with Magister, I've got everything. Thanks to that Gloves of Passage drop I got. A 29 phylactery. So actually, it might be worth opening it up to see how many I make. But I'll do that next time. Um, I want to make two weapons. So that's the goal. Uh, I just need a pet now. My drop rate is should be 1 in 333 because I've passed two thresholds. And the base drop rate is 1 in 500. Um, that's pretty much all unique stuff I've made. I guess Zoliana, if you have a look. Uh, I have got everything except the pet. Thanks to that Saradomin hilt. So quite a few repeats and things. But uh, I don't really mind. Just need the pet now. I've passed one threshold. So my drop rate is 1 in 2500. I will be close to the next threshold. So after I pass that, that will be 1 in 1666. So looking forward to that. And uh, let's have a look at the loot tab as well. So the loot tab is building up quite nicely. I've got a load of uh, random stuff here. So I need to reorder it. Uh, no, I did not get the Vywin crossbow from slaying or killing bosses. But I got everything else here. I don't think I have bank space to keep all the unique drops I'm getting. Especially as I start killing newer bosses. So for example, God Wars 2 bosses. I haven't really killed too many. But once I start killing them, my bank will get pretty full with new stuff. So I, I might need to get a bank booster. But uh, it's looking pretty good right now. I barely done any Araxel, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, I need to do. I need to get two more leg tops that can be done with the axle forever, and sell all this for about 600 or 700 mil. Hopefully, 600 mil. So, what else is there? Well, we have the pets, of course. I didn't get any new boss pets this episode, unfortunately. So the numbers on screen will reflect that fact compared to the numbers at the start of this episode. So unfortunately, that is, that's the way it is. I've killed way, lots of bosses this episode, but not enough reward for it. But I did get two skilling pets, Sifu and Wallace, in this particular episode. All three of my combat pets, Sifu, Wallace and Morty, have been gotten at Zilliana, which is kind of funny, I suppose. Um, I haven't got Gordy as well, which is a little bit annoying because I'm 200 mil. Dungeoneering, but I did get the advanced gold accumulator, so I can't really complain. And last but not least, let's have a look at the Edemu pet count. So, Edemus, uh, I've killed quite a few Edemus between the last episode and this one, I think. And uh, still haven't got the second pet, but I did get a few blood necklace shards. So, those of you that guessed in episode one, in the comment section of episode one, I'm at nine right now. So I still haven't got it. No, you can't go back and edit it. I probably won't consider people that go back and edit their guesses. Because <laughs> that's not really fair, is it? Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one where I'll hopefully have some more boss pets. Yeah.